here. It says it's going live and it finally went live. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Let me see if I have any kind of sort of okay signal because it took a little longer than usual to uh, to get uh, excited to get on the live. Okay, should be good. All right. Well, as you see here, guys, I'm going to do a little cooking. I have never tried this before. I did see something on the internet, I think, uh, with, with this. But what I'm doing um, is corn dogs, but I'm going to use a pickle. Um, I think I, I saw somebody put a hot dog in the middle of one of these uh, on something. I really didn't, I didn't click on the link to see how they did anything. So I'm actually just trying this for myself to to uh, see if it didn't taste any good. But people's probably like hot dogs and pickles. I mean, you put pickles on hamburgers and hot dogs anyway, and relish is actually like pickles. So it's the same thing, folks. So uh, we're going to, uh, and I'm just like, I was like, well, how, how would I drill a hole? I didn't have a bit big enough, so I'm using this um, hole bit. They do have paddle bit, bits, but I think this will work even better because, let me move my face, because it has a point at the very end of this uh, to stick in and then drill a better straight hole. Okay, it's not too straight. It's wobbling around. Okay, well, don't try this at home, folks. That's the first thing I should tell everyone. Um, but I got some skewers here. I'm going to skewer. I'm going to do two, two different methods. Tasha says, Tasha just left, so she didn't want to be in the middle of this. But Tasha um, said to use pancake. I want to use breadcrumbs. So I'm going to do a breadcrumb mixture second. So uh, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. And I see Eli's in the house. Eli Lessig, we have a video First video is coming out on the, the tour, uh, the, the Eli Lessig tour number two. Um, the first video came out of when I was going that direction, when I did that uh, Walden's barbecue. Well, the first video at Jailhouse Pizza, it actually was in a jailhouse, used to be a jailhouse, now it's a pizza place called Jailhouse Pizza in Kentucky. Um, so we are Brandenburg, Kentucky. So that video is coming out tomorrow. So please check his YouTube out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, really great guy. I'm not just saying that because he's subscribed to this channel, but he a uh, really great guy. Um, and his wife makes hair bows. If you know anybody that likes hair bows, uh, get with him. He probably can steer you in the right direction. Okay. Well, first of all, I need to get a bowl. I'll get a clear bowl. <laughs> So you can see a little bit what's happening. But I'm going to clear everything off of here and get the bowl right here. Okay. Well, you and I are going to be in for a treat because the stuff that I do, I do not like to test out first. I like to test it out live so we both can see a explosion or explosion of taste not an explosion in the house but if that happens it's going to be live you, you're going to know what to do you're going to know what happened so um one of them's hot hot mama van holton's these got i think these pickles got a little bit littler unless it's cold outside but these pickles are a little bit littler than usual they're supposed to be a little bit bigger that's what she said so i am going to i'm going to i'm going to drink the juice guys i'm going to suck the juice but I'm taking the juice out right now, but first, before I even get started with that, um, I need to get prepared. Um, I thought of getting a bottle and cutting the bottom off of it so I don't get the juice all over the place when I'm using the drill. I'm not sure if you use a drill in your kitchen. Um, I was going to bring the um, circular saw in too and cut these, but I think that's going to be a little bit too loud for you guys. So I'm going to make like an Eskimo pocket. You know how the Eskimos do their hands in the, in the coat? Well, this is going to be like an Eskimo uh, when I'm drilling. So in theory, and you can use this as a funnel now. So you, you people that like to not throw stuff away, you can use that as a funnel. But... Here goes nothing, folks. Here is said hot dog. This is a garlic joe. I'll shake my hot dog at you. 
okay? You're nobody unless you got a Garlic Joe hot dog stuck in your face. Here we go. This is not going to work. <laughs> this works. Oh, yeah. Do not. Do, oh, wow. There's not much clearance um, to uh, to actually drill this without drilling my hands. Uh, maybe. To be a, uh, a little smarter and I will keep my hand out here. This is not going to work. This is I'm just going to do the best that I can. Tasha's not here. So whoop. Whoop de do. Okay, don't tell her. Here we go. Get closer. My if you do something stupid, get it on video. Oh, 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 okay. Relish. I did clean that off beforehand. You always want to clean your drill bit off. Okay, we got said said hole. Okay, now we're gonna break break this out. Oh, apple core is too too dainty. I'm a man, okay. I'm a man, and who's not a man that don't swallow hot dogs? Okay, got to get one down. A little salty. Okay, um, before I do this, I have to do this. It's a one-man show, folks. Okay. Oh, yeah. Talk dirty. Guys, talk dirty. Talk dirty. Uh, talk dirty. Oh, that was freaking perfect. That was perfect. Okay. Oh, I almost hit the wrong button. That's what she said. Okay. Here we go. I am going to pull it back out. I'm going to pull it back out. I'm going to drill a little bit deeper. I'm hit so I can. I'm hitting this wall. There we go. Now let's let's try that over. Hey, you're the crazy ones. You're watching this. Oh, pack it in there. Pack it in. Okay, smack that pickle. Okay, we can remove this for right now. Now, we have said hot dog. I didn't even, I, this is the first time I've ever tried to shove my pickle in a hot dog. Um, <laughs> on camera, huh? Okay. Well, here's what I'm going to do first. You can make your pancake batter as thick, as thin as you want. Um, I already got some pancake. Hungry Jack. We got Hungry Jack and Garlic Joe right here. So Jack and Joe, not Jack and Jill. That's another story. Um, I'm going to pour a little bit of water in here just to uh, see what kind of thickness I get. It's too, too thick. Probably too thin, like the Goldilocks. Uh, here we go. Try to get the best uh, coverage for you guys. I think that's too thin now. Let me do a little, little bit thicker. Okay. A little goes a long ways. What's the end goal? The end goal is like a corn dog with a pickle in the middle. So that's basically what I'm trying to do. Um, before I dip both of these, I want to dip this at the very end. Actually, you know what? When you do dipping, you want to do it a little early and then maybe double dip um, to get a better. Uh, that when I do my jalapeno poppers, I actually know how to cook jalapeno poppers. 
So um, my, my technique is to double dip. Um, I'm just going to throw my pickle in here. And I'll do the skewer later. But uh, guys, I know people has a better way to do this, okay? This is just what I'm doing. I'm cooking. This is my way of cooking. So you do exactly how you like to try it. But you can you can switch this up any way you like. I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna get to the second one. Okay, the second one. What you want on the egg wash? On the egg wash, you want to do one egg per one cup of milk ish. So you can do uh, kind of what you like. But I already I already did that. I got the mixture right here, um, and I have flour. Um, what I like to do my jalapeno poppers. Um, I like to do panko breadcrumbs you can do the generic kind it doesn't matter um tasha is fancy so she has to get that um we're going to get the other hot dog and do the same thing with this i'm sorry i can't chat right now once i turn the grease on and talk to you i can probably uh chat a little more um this is the hot mama um so we're gonna we're gonna drill this baby we get this uh, mixture out the way for a minute. And I don't think we need that. We don't need this. Here we go. Here's said pickle. If you missed the first one, just get you an old drill bit or a hole bit. Watch your hand. Don't not, do not try this at home. Do not try this at home. See if I went far enough. You can actually mark. That's what this this uh, tape is on here to mark it for dig, uh, going in holes. You don't want to go too deep when you're doing construction. But uh, I didn't do it for this. That was just on there for last time. Okay. I think I'm done with the drill. I'll put it in the view just so people just tune in. They wonder what the heck's going on. And uh, here we go. Got to get another hot dog. Okay, have enough hot dogs on hand, okay? Just like drinking and cooking, I guess, but just swallowing hot dogs and cooking. Talk dirty. Oh, talk dirty to it. It's not. Oh. <sighs> Whist whistle something in the ear. Whistle something in the ear. What is going on? This is a stubborn one. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, this isn't PG at all. This is this is gnarly. There we go. There we go. Oh, it just doesn't want to take it. This does not want to take it. What is going on with this pickle? I don't know. Maybe too much air. Maybe too much air. Okay. Oh, the song's over. The song's over and the deed has not been done. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, took it all. There we go. Like a pimento, uh, olive, like a stuffed olive. Okay. That was more than um, I was expecting. <laughs> okay. This, okay, when you do this, you want to coat this in flour first. This is a flour first thing where you coat it so the egg wash um, sticks to it, okay? Coat it with flour, like so. Okay. Right hand wet, left hand dry. Right hand wet, left hand dry. That's what you got to do. You got to if you're if you're doing a lot of these, you got to right hand wet, left hand dry. Grow up, people. <laughs> Grow up. Okay. 
but I might use my hand. I'm just gonna use this. Oh, it dripped right. Out. I'm putting it in. Oh yeah, there we go. Need a bigger bowl. That's what I need. Okay. Right hand wet. Left hand dry. Guess what? I need one more freaking bowl. I'll just use this. Here we go. And I'm going to use the breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. Okay. Now the left hand's wet. Oh. Okay. That's the first coating. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to coat it one more time. But that is the, that is that. I'm gonna leave that here for a second and go back to the first one. And uh, I don't think I need to coat that first one again. I'm just gonna drizzle some on top of it. And then whatever falls off, falls off. Okay, it's gonna be a hot mess. Once I start cooking it, hot mess. Um, and I need to know, I need to know how big the pan is so I can cut this accordingly. So here's what you do. I'm I'm going to wipe my hands off. You can do this too if you want to do measurements like this and then go over there and keep your hands just like this. That's all up to you. But I I'm going to do this. Okay. And while I got you over here, I am going to pour the grease in here and get this to cooking. Whoop, whoop, you can see that? Wrong one. Okay. And I'm using this larger pan, so I don't have to put a lot of oil in here. I'll probably end up turning it. And you don't want to fill it all the way to the top anyway on a small one because you might get a little grease fire. So I'll pull you closer once we get over there to that stage. I'll pull you closer. Um, I need a timer. Alexa, set a timer for 347. Alarm set for 347 p.m. Alexa. to add some positivity or helpful information to your daily alarm? Alexa, thank you. The other Alexa just talked. Alexa, thank you. Absolutely. Happy to help. Okay, while you're talking, Alexa, tell me a bad joke. Alexa, tell me a joke. Why was the coffee pot an Instagram star? Because he was a pro with filters. Alexa, turn the volume up twice. Alexa, turn the volume up. Okay, I'll answer a couple questions now, um, but this grease is going to get hot pretty pretty quick. So I got I got about a, a minute and a half left or less. I'm just washing my hands, and we're going to get to the cooking cooking part of this. I hope everyone, thank you very much, Justin. Hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year or whatever you celebrate. Happy Kwanzaa. Um, Goosh and Tosh. I don't even know what that is. Um, all that mess. Oh, not mess. All that stuff. Eli says, we know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. <laughs> yes, that's a good thing on the shirt. I know stuff. That's what I need to put on the shirt. I know stuff. Happy Pride Pickle Day. That's what day it should be. And while I'm sitting here, I might as well make a little bit more of a mess. I'm going to dip this back in the egg wash and coat it again. You want to let this sit for five minutes about. Oh, grease. Alexa, stop. You want to set this for five minutes so it sits a little bit longer and adheres to uh, the your hot dog. 
and then coat it again. I'll usually use a bowl so I wouldn't waste so much. Can't see nothing because of that, huh? But I'm just going to roll it back in here, and it is it is coated twice. Uh, I need to break this off. Ah, that should be good. I measured it earlier. Stick it in your hot dog. Whoa, stick it in your hot dog. Roll it again. Okay, you gonna meet me over at the stove? Okay, see if this thing just explodes. I'll, I'll clean this mess up later. I'll just get it out the way. Cause it'll bother me. Hopefully you're having a great day. Um, I try to do a video here and there when I'm not doing a regular video. So I'm trying to get like 25 to 30 videos this month. I'm pretty much on course. Uh, you have got a video with Eli uh, and myself doing a pizza at the Jailhouse Pizza um, in Brandenburg, Kentucky. The next day, the 16th, I'm like, oh, it's a live. So it's Friday Night Live. Um, so it might be 6 or 7 p.m. I'll, I'll tell you Friday when that is. And then you're going to get a... Uh, the 17th, you're going to get a drive through Burger King video, which was really exciting. Uh, you'll have to see that. I'm going to bring you guys over to here. And I'll turn the light on for you. There you go. Already prepared to go. And I will, I'll get you a little closer. You don't need to see me. You know what I look like. You, you know what I look like. I'm already taken. I'm already taken. Um, I'll raise this up a little bit so you can see the show. Okay. Hopefully I'm not talking too loud. I'm right by the mic. Um, and here is what I do to see if, if it's ready to go. Okay. It's looking like it's there. I turn the I turn the volume up a little bit. The volume on the gas. This is the volume knob right down there. Um, I've turned that up a little bit. Once I put it in, I like to turn down just a little bit. But I'll do one at a time. Oh, this oh this gooey batter came off a little bit. Okay, this is the pancake mixture, which kind of sucked. Here we go. If the volume gets too loud of this popping of the uh, grease, please turn your volume down. Okay. Got some tongs right here. I don't know if that inside is going to get done, but you got to have the grease hot for the pancake batter. I'm going to try to flip it one more time. We'll see. It didn't explode on me. I know you're saying flip it. I'm over here doing doing other stuff, cleaning the table off. One more flip.
No, nah, you, you don't have to um, soak these skewers for 12 hours. That's like if you're doing a barbecue grill on a barbecue grill for a long time, you don't have to worry about the, these burning like that because these are only going to be in there a little bit. I'm just trying to keep turning it so it doesn't burn and the, the pickle and hot dog gets a little bit done. But if you are doing a um, barbecue, please soak your skewers. Like you can soak your corn husk too if you're, if you're doing corn on the grill. But however you guys want to do it, if you want to do it differently than I do it, have at it. But this is just the way that I'm going to do it. Um, and I don't see that I would probably do anything different than what I did um, so far. Uh, I'm going to put this one in here. This is the... Italian crusted, there you go, the Italian breadcrumbs. Oh, I was about to pick that stick up. One more flip. I'm just trying to get that a little more done. But here you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks good. I'm going to take this one out. It's good to me. Set that there. And then flip this one one time. And keep flipping that. And I'll answer a couple more comments while that's going on. Okay. If you're not watching paint dry, you are um, watching hot dogs fry. Okay, we're on, let me see. Thank you very much, Gareth, for tuning in. Uh, you are watching, uh, if you're just tuning in, you're watching corn dogs um, on a stick and a pickle. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. I think this one's gonna be the winner. I like Italian breadcrumbs, personally. Okay, I'm turn it up just a little bit more to get it the grease hot and then I'm gonna cut it back down. But it's about it's about done. Get another um another couple minutes. Hope you guys have a great day. Um, I am uh, just doing a little cooking for you guys, uh, make and seeing if this recipe actually works. Um, yes, if you didn't try me, if you are connected to the other channel. Uh, please go to Outdoors Unsupervised. Um, you can go to OutdoorsUnsupervised.com. Um, that can get you there as well because I did purchase that domain name. Uh, but that is the link for that. Um, I do want to post Eli's up because we got a challenge going on tomorrow. If you want to check his video out um, and see how he edits his videos, that is his uh, YouTube channel there. There's probably ASMRs on people just boiling food. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. 
almost there. Okay, 30 more seconds. I'm gonna move the camera back over here while that is going on. And get ready to taste this fine meal for you guys. Don't worry about that drill if you just tuned in. Who doesn't use a drill while they're cooking? I'm gonna need this. you guys have a um, have a potato you can cut it and put it in the grease after you cut it off and the heat and the potatoes it cool down the um, grease a little bit and uh, you don't want to probably eat it because it's going to be a little greasy from um, getting cooler but uh, just something to help save your grease a little bit if you didn't know that you probably got other tips and tricks uh, for that as well you plug this computer back in and we can have at and see how this recipe worked if you didn't see the Totino's uh, Totino's deep dish pizza experiment uh, that actually worked out pretty good so you can check that live out I did it like the last what four or five days but I'll try this one first since this one did come out um, a little bit ago this is the pancake crusted stuffed pickle hot dog stuffed pickle it's really juicy it still has a lot of salt in it um, and it's garlicky um the crust i don't know it's it's weird i wouldn't i probably wouldn't do this again it just fell off um, it's okay. I mean, it's not nasty, uh, but it actually, it actually just take it. Your brain thinks it's like too greasy because the juice from the pickle, but it's like a just a hot pickle. You can barely taste the hot dog. Uh, getting the light over here, but um, yeah, this is a probably a pass for me. Maybe not waste your time on that. It is pretty salty because of the pickle. And there's a hot, a salty hot dog in the middle. And this for, um, see, there's a pickle juice coming out like that. Okay, let's try this anyway. Oh. Okay. Well, we did it. We tried it. I'm going to say no. But on that um, on the Totino's pizza, that was a that was a go. I like that one. This one right here, I would not waste your time. Crust tastes pretty good. Um, I'm not sure if I have. I might have some regular bread. I don't um I don't do hot dog buns and hot dog like like bread like hot dog buns and hamburger buns because to me hot dog bun hamburger bun it's so I don't have to have the fancy uh fancy buns that people have to have but well, we can put one in here you see that okay A little breading in there bread with bread if you're on a diet this is not the channel for you
Uh, I think all the juice is like soaking up on the bread. You can put condiments on it, whatever, but I think it's just too much, too much trouble to do this. Well, just want to bring you guys a video and I can chat with you guys a little bit now. So if you had any questions earlier that I missed, please, please, please say them again. Mary says it's very good. It's really good with deep fried fried pickles. Um, yeah, it's probably better if you do thinner and, and coat them and do that. I was just trying to do something different and fun. But you are welcome uh, for the pickle hot dog experiment. And just something that if you always wondered, you do not have to wonder anymore. You are welcome. Yes, uh, Miss Robinson. Well, um, like I said, um, this is just an experiment with the pickle with the hot dog in the middle, like a corn dog thing. Um, there's there's definitely ways to do it when you're cutting them. You're cutting them and, and frying them like that. You can even fry the, the the spears and cut them in fours and, and do it like that and batter it. But this this was just a uh, experiment with the hot dog in the middle. Thank you, dog God. I I do. Um, I do thank uh, myself for you sleeping better at tonight for knowing this didn't work. So I do. I do want to pat myself on the back because I really do appreciate when you guys sleep better at night. So, dog God, you you are more than welcome. Oh, Tasha and I just left uh, uh, Sanitobia area. Uh, we went to see a uh, member of the disposal team, uh, Kenneth Bryant. Um, Kenny, uh, we, we saw a piece of his property has 20 acres, uh, buy a nice piece of property, uh, with, there's a little string, uh, a, a, a creek or a river goes by a little creek. Um, and I might be doing a two, three day stealth, uh, not a stealth, but a two or three day camping off grid camping thing out there. Um, and have the, the water in the background and do some fishing and such. Uh, once it stops raining for about it has to clear up a little bit because it is pretty wet out there. But um, I do appreciate uh, we went and go, went to Jack's in Coldwater, uh, Jack's Diner. Uh, we ate some um, good burgers there. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate him showing us a piece of property that we can use, that we can use for camping here and there. And uh, he was talking about building a cabin out there on 15 foot stilts uh, from if the, you know, when the floods uh, and uh, maybe a tree house or something. Uh, so uh, I, I do like building stuff and being out in the wilderness. So if you wanted to do that, I told him, just give me a heads up and, and we can do some a um, little bit of that out there. Matt says, hey, Brandon, do you still make your own flavored pickles? I believe you did. Yes, I've been selling them for about two or three years now. Um, so if you go to the website, um, it's under DougGarbageDisposalStore.com. Uh, go under goods and other stuff. Uh, and click through the pictures. They only let me put a little bitty arrow on the left and the right. So look in the middle of the right, in the middle of the left of the arrows and click the arrows. It shows you all the different stuff that I like, that I, I, I like it all, but that I have on there. And if you like anything, you email me at brandonclark1976 at gmail.com, which is on the website. Just email me, let me know how many you want of what kind and your shipping address so I can send you a total. And thank you very much, Mary, uh, and the other moderators that when I talk a lot, I miss a lot of questions. I don't try to uh, miss any of you guys' questions, but when I get to talk in, it's hard for me to do two things at one time anyway, but they do pick up my slack, so I do appreciate that. Dana says, have you checked out the Chris and Holly show yet? Um, I, I tell everybody that they send me links to watch videos and stuff. A lot of people send me videos and ask me about watching other channels. Um, they might put out one or two videos a week. Uh, I'll probably put up six videos a week. Um, and I'm really busy, you know, doing lives when I'm not having a video edited, I actually go live and do stuff for you guys. So I, I very rarely get to watch TV. Um, when I do watch YouTube, it's usually AB camping. 
um, Matt Poza, um, or Steve Wallace. So usually about those three people are only people I watch regularly of like outdoor stuff. Um, I do watch Bob's, Eli's. I do watch other people's videos that actually watch my channel. I watch Head to Toe Barbecue and Cooking, um, Four Season Barbecue, uh, Mr. Random Dude 82, uh, Lonnie right here. So I do uh, check out other channels, uh, Matt's Ice Cream Show. There, there's a list of them that I'm probably going to miss, probably. Uh, but I can't watch every single video, which I know that you guys can't even watch every single video I put out because I put out a whole lot of videos. But uh, they're out there if you want to watch them. Um, if you got a snowstorm or there's raining cats and dogs out there or alligators and pheasants, um, you'll see that in the video too. I think the Burger King one, I said it's raining alligators and pheasants. Somebody said it's raining cats and dogs, people. I mean, what's wrong with alligators and pheasants? Daisy says, try a haunted stealth camp. Um, I guess I, I could. Actually, I have one that's kind of like that. It's coming out on the, the 18th on my other channel and the 19th on this channel. So if you want to watch any of the outdoor stuff uh, a day earlier, go to outdoorsunsupervised.com and uh, click that. You'll, you'll see no ads until I get monetized, which I'm almost monetized on that channel. Uh, but if you go to that channel, you'll see the spookiest and coldest one, both in the same video, spooky and spookiest and coldest stealth camp yet on stealth camp number eight uh that's on that channel on the 18th that i just put up and it'll be on this channel on the 19th but after the first of the year folks no more cooking outdoors you'll see cooking indoors like this on this channel this you'll see reviews and you will see challenges uh there'll probably be maybe three videos a week on this channel instead of six or seven uh There'll be about three, maybe two to three a week on this channel. But on that channel, I'm going to try to do two to three to four. I'm going to try to ramp that one up. Um, but on the outdoors, unsupervised.com, uh, on that YouTube channel, there is uh, going to be stealth camps, uh, camping, uh, out, outdoor campfire cooking, because um, I don't do campfires inside. Um I just try to make it sound smart once I've messed up. Okay. That's, that's all I was. Um, there's still going to be laughs on there. Um, and, uh, the balloon and the other chickens that's on that. Okay. You're going to see probably biking, hiking, canoeing or whatever I start doing. So I'm going to, I want to get a kayak. So you're going to see some kind of kayak survival season, uh, to come up to. Um, dog God, good question. I will be going live on that channel. I wanted to go live before, but something came up. Uh, but I'll jump out there in the woods and, and go live for you guys sometime uh, for the first live. But the live for that channel might be in the daytime, uh, maybe on the weekend on the daytime. I got to pick a good time, but it's not going to be like, I don't want to lock down every single Saturday. I go live. I want to be locked down to a certain day that, that I, um, because it's, it's kind of stressful to I already got Fridays on the garbage disposal to go live. So in the future, it might be changed up where it not, might not be every Friday on that channel, but I might do a regular one on that channel. I'm still working everything out. I got my uh, business cards made up. I'm going to order them the first of the year because of tax purposes. I'm, I, I, I got enough uh, uh, stuff bought that is, uh, you know, for taxes. Uh, so I'm going to wait till next year to purchase the website and the uh, to, to start working on that and my um, out, outdoors unsupervised gear. Um, that, that gear is actually, um, I'm going to have shirts made. Uh, that stuff's probably coming out in February, but you'll see in the next week or two, you'll see t-shirts pre-order. If you pre-order t-shirts from that channel, um, I'll put it up. If you order... Uh, Anything's 10% off if you get one shirt. If you get two shirts, they're 10% off a piece for the pre-order. But if you get a hoodie and a shirt, on the hoodie, you get 10% off. On the shirt, you get 15% off on the same order. So I'm going to try to do some deals for people that do pre-orders. Mary says, we are getting four days of snow, and we are supposed to get... 50 centimeters. So I'm not sure. I'm a, I'm US, so I don't know anything about centimeters. I know what a kilo is. It's 2.2 pounds. 
um, just because I watched a lot of movies. But I bought a thermometer for outside, so when I go do stealth camps and camps, I know how what degrees it is outside. So I bought a it's a cheap seven dollar thermometer, but it's pretty much it's pretty accurate down to two or three degrees, you know. So, but I have a lot of stuff on that channel that's going to be uh, coming out that hopefully you guys like. But if you're not subscribed to, it, if you don't like the outdoor stuff, don't worry. This channel's still going to go. I'm still going to at least try to put two drive-through videos a week, or at least you're going to get one food challenge a week. So uh, most YouTubers put one to two videos out a week. Um, so this channel is still going to be like that, at least one to two videos of, of food challenges. And I'll probably do some live food challenges too. So if I do one, uh, I'll have what they're having in front of me and I videotape it to edit it. And maybe I'll do one live I'll have in front of me. So you'll see it live. So we'll, we'll do different stuff to make it fun and exciting still. Um, Benjamin Hugh says, Brandon, what's your overall favorite food? Um, overall favorite food would mainly, I would say, I don't want to say just general like pizza, but um, I like a variety of foods. I like buffets where I can eat a little bit, a lot of stuff instead of grazing. Like eating one one same thing. I like my mom's um, double fried pork steak. Don Ann says, uh, "Just subscribe." Well, thank you very much for subscribing. I appreciate it. And Darlene, if I missed, uh, okay, uh, new to this channel, joined when you did that pizza challenge with, what's his name? Okay, I'm not sure, oh, uh, Bob, Notorious B dot, O dot, B dot, I won't tell him you said that. Or uh, I just chatted with um, Beard, um, Adam Moran, Beard Meets Food, I just chatted with him because he was wondering about a challenge. Um, so I talked to him about that. I'm not going to discuss what challenge he said or anything because he doesn't he doesn't put where he's going out. He's he's pretty famous, so he uh, might have snipers or, or such um, around the area that might uh, might jump in. You know, he he has millions of subscribers, so I understand he does not want nobody to know. So I'm, I can't tell anybody. Not if you torture me. I can't even tell you. Matt says, have you ever been here to Jersey for food challenges? Uh, I've done about three or four, I think, in New Jersey, maybe four or five. Um, I know one was in Tom, uh, is it Tom's Hill or Hill Tom's River? Tom's River, I did Johnny G's. Uh, I failed it the first time, but I went back a year later and, and, and completed it. It was like a 12-pound, I think 11 or 12-pound pizza. But... Um, I don't travel too much. Uh, I am going to Florida um, to the uh, uh, Fort Lauderdale by the sea. Uh, we went a couple years ago for Tasha's birthday, and we're going back. Uh, we might do some um, snorkeling uh, with lobsters. Um, so I will bring my extra GoPro. So if I'm um, snorkeling, maybe I can get some underwater footage for you guys with the with the GoPro. I think eight because I sold no the nine because I sold the eight to Lonnie. But the GoPro 9, I'll, I'll use that um, underwater and get you some footage for the other channel. All the footage over there is not going to be on this channel at all. It's going to be outdoors unsupervised because uh, we're on deep sea fishing again, coral reef fishing. Uh, if we do the lobsters, I'm not sure if we're doing that or not, but all three of those are going to be on the outside uh, unsupervised channel. Um, if I do a food challenge there, and that's a very like unlikely possibility, but if I do one, It'll be on this channel for the food challenge. Um, Donna says, "What's your favorite state that you have visited?" I, I like a lot. I like a lot of places I've been. Uh, I like stuff that's less congested. Um, a long time ago, I always liked the Pikes Peak. Um, I like that area. Um, parts of uh, Las Vegas, like when it's just out there, not on the strip, but out there in the country, you see the mountains. 
and it's not a lot of stuff out there. That's that's the places I like. I like stuff that's not too people-y. Um, Polo Ball says, after the Mammoth Challenge lost, did you eat the leftovers? Uh, I don't I don't waste any food. Um, so all that food I took to Eli's house. I keep a cooler in my car all the time. When I go on trips, I keep a cooler with ice in it. Uh, I got uh, ice blocks. Actually, they are. Well, I cut it open. But I have about I have about 10 of these in the freezer of water. So I just put these blocks in my, my cooler and keep them in the car. So any kind of food um, that I have, um, if they offer me extra food at the end, I'll, yeah, I'll take it. Um, I do not waste food. So um, all that food I gave to Eli, um, the ki his kids, and his wife. So I don't waste food at all. Um, see if I missed any. Oh, yes. Head to tell barbecue and cooking. I do like chocolate gravy. Um, he does have a video on that. So please check out head to tell barbecue and cookings, uh, channel. He does a lot of barbecue and a lot of other cooking. And part of the other would be, um, uh, chocolate gravy. So it is delicious. Pike's peak. I only knew one of Pike's Peak, and that was in Colorado. Uh, but maybe they stole the name and used it uh, used it in Colorado in, in Iowa as well. Um, my uh, my aunt stays in Des Moines, Iowa, and I did a challenge like I did a few challenges right right one in Des Moines and like the right the next city over or something. I did a few challenges there as well, but. Um, the Pikes Peak that I know is in Colorado. <sighs> yes, Tasha's a big fan. Matt, Tasha's a big fan of Mexican food, so she likes a lot of tacos and burritos and such. Um, like all around, like a place to go to, I do like pizzas. Um, but you can put a lot of different toppings on pizza. You put a lot of different toppings on, on Mexican food as well. But Mexican food is pretty much, I think it's like seven ingredients, ain't it? Like you make a thousand different recipes with only seven ingredients. It's like magic. And do not say queso cheese. Queso cheese means cheese, cheese. Don't do that. Sports Freak 97 says he would choose pizza over anything. Okay. And the pizza he did give me from, uh, what's the place called? Gisanti's. Uh, but that was pretty good. That was a pretty good pizza. I ate it cold. Uh, probably better if it was fresh, but it was it was a good pizza. Um, Tasha kept the meatballs in the refrigerator. I, I think she was supposed to look at the menu to make sure the meatballs didn't have pork in it. It might have had pork in it. That's why it's in the refrigerator. I never asked her. I'll ask her when she gets home. Gisantes. Okay. Grisantes. Okay, Grisantes. My bad. Uh, Donna says, what's the most unusual food you have eaten? Um, the only unusual foods that I call unusual is probably stuff that I made at home just mixed up when the, the nasty spin wheel. Uh, I'm not sure of unusual. I had escargot when I went on the, the Bahama cruise when I was 40, just to say that I ate some, but it wasn't nothing to talk about. Darlena says, you're ever going to go to Wisconsin? We have a couple food challenges in Kenosha. Kenosha. I think I did one in Kenosha. I'm not sure. Um, uh, people do ask me to go places. Uh, if I drive all the way to Wisconsin, which is probably a 12, 14 hour drive or so, that's a long way to do a, a, a video for free food and, and a t-shirt. Um, if I'm on a trip going somewhere, like if you ever see me going your direction, like say if I'm going to Wisconsin, email me at brandonclark1976 at gmail.com. It's in the, the descriptions of all my videos and on my website. 
Um, so if you see me going your direction, then then that's the time you you throw it at me. And say, hey, what about this? Then I, I see if I'm going kind of close to there, and I can add it in. But for me driving that far, I would lose I would lose a lot of money. Um, uh, uh, trips people do not know the trips I plan takes me about a month to a month and a half to plan the trip because I have to plan. Uh, to see where um, I might can do. Now I can do a stealth camp. So it kind of helps out with videos on, on other channel. So I do, uh, I have to see what type of food challenge it is. If it's a big steak meat challenge, the next day needs to be like an ice cream or a fudge challenge. So I have to kind of strategically look, you know, different challenges, how far apart, um, so it's a lot of stuff that goes in then back and forth with the, with the restaurant to see if I can do it at a certain time. Uh, but now uh, it does help out with, like I said, with me having another channel where I can do a stealth camp in between time and get an extra video. Diesel says Australia. Yes. Uh, I, for some reason, I always know you're from um, Australia now since we had that chat a while back. But good eye, mate. Um, I say that because Taj is not here. <laughs> uh, but I have kangaroo before and I tried crocodile. Actually, chickens taste like crocodiles and chickens taste like kangaroo. Um, I'm not sure why people say kangaroos taste like chicken. I'm thinking crocodiles came before chickens, like they're dinosaurs, right? So chickens taste like crocodile. I'm just getting this straight for you guys, folks. So she said. Oh, yes. Thank you, Josephine. Please hit the like button on this video if you like the videos. If you watch any of my videos and you see that thumbs up go up and you forgot to hit the like button, please hit the like button. It helps keep the channel going. Um, and on the new channel, I'm almost monetized, folks. I will look it up now of how many um, hours I have, but you need 4,000 watched hours. I already have the uh, the subscribers, which I call the wigwams on there. So whoever subscribed to that, on here you're called disposal team. On there, the wigwams. Um, hopefully it's not that offensive to you. Um, I'm looking now. It's taking a little time. It says 3.100, so, well, 3,100 hours. But if you look on the other one, it shows 3,600, 3,700. So I only have like four, three or 400 uh, more hours to go watched, and I'll be monetized on that channel. So I do want to thank all you guys that's watched the videos over there. I uh, really do, really do thank you. Brian says, have you ever got food poison from a challenge. No, I have not. I don't think I have not. Um, I'm, a, I'm a mutt. So stuff doesn't bother me like it does bother other people. Um, so um, I, I have not that I'm aware of. Uh, Matt, you're not the only one. Um, there, there'll be like 30,000 people that watch a video and only 300 hit the like button. So 1% or so. So that is not. That's like 0.1%. Diesel says, will you do a Christmas dinner video, old mate? Um, I'm not one to do too many videos like as many videos I edit and put out and stuff that I do, it's hard for me to, to do a Christmas video like three weeks early and then put the video out. Then we got to cook Christmas again if she cooks Christmas. If I do anything like that, so I did a Thanksgiving kind of thing, but I did it live. So if I do any live, like any Christmas stuff like that, it probably be going to be live on Christmas or live on New Year's. So if I do anything, it will be uh, it'll be live. So I know a lot of people want me to do a spin wheel, which I'm not really sure uh, if I'm going to do a spin wheel or not. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, 
Leslie says, hey, Brandon, when are you going live on Facebook next? I don't know. I go live twice a week for the uh, the garbage gang. So if you're subscribed to Facebook, I go twice a week. I don't have a lockdown day of when I go live on a lot of places uh, because I do have a lot of stuff going on. Um, I do lock down the Friday for right now on, on this channel that I go live every Friday. Um, now it's not locked down to 9 p.m. It might be 6, 7, 8 p.m. Um, so, but I do tell, I do try to tell people early on the Friday night live. Any other live that I do, like this one here, I don't announce uh, I'm going live uh, eight hours early or three hours early or two hours early. Sometimes I don't know if I can go live, so I just go live when I when I can. So a lot of times you're not going to get notified unless you got your notifications on um, when the live starts. Uh, but Friday Night Live is the only one that I actually tell people like six, seven hours beforehand. But other than that, um, I just do the best that I can um, and just try to bring some videos for you guys uh, uh, randomly when I don't have a scheduled video out. So... But I do appreciate it. I do appreciate you guys wanting to know when all the videos are out. The, the lives are the only ones that are sketchy uh, other than Friday. Um, Matt says, Tasha's still doing cooking videos. She hasn't put a cooking video out in a long time. She still has a channel. She has over like 2,000 subscribers. She, de she definitely doesn't have the hours watched to even get monetized on that channel. But uh, she has two regular uh, real jobs. She has two regular real jobs, so uh, she's unable to do any kind of videos. She's not gung-ho like me, like that I have to sell hope or do videos. So I'm trying not to sell hope, so I put a lot of videos out. And it's still only make about a half a percent the money. Tori says, I download and watch your shows on your other channel to watch on the airplane. I hope that counts for your hours watched. I'm not really sure how that works. Somebody did ask me, and do you have to have like YouTube Red or something to download movies? Or uh, I guess it's like Amazon Prime, or can you just download movies and watch? It, if you get ads on there, I would think, I don't know how that works. I really don't. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Welcome. Hey, Queen Gertruda Eats, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in as well. I know I missed a lot of people on here, but I do appreciate you guys uh, uh, sharing the videos. Really helps if you share. So if you want people to, even though this is a dud, uh, to see if a pickled stuffed pickle, hot dog stuffed pickle uh, corn dog works or not, uh, you might want to share the video. People like funny cooking videos. Um, I just try to have fun with it. That's why I, um, I could have got a pineapple core and got the and got that out, but I thought this would be... Oh, don't turn this on and lick this mother... Oh, I almost cursed. You know what I'm talking about, folks. But uh, I do curse in real life, folks. If you didn't know, I do curse in a real life. MF, that's what I was about to say. I would have cursed a lot if I turned that on while mixing paddle. That's what it is. But you get a coat hanger in a regular drill. This is an impact. This is an impact right, right here. So, uh, but in a regular drill where it can close down, you can get a coat hanger, twist it up like four times, put it in here, and make a, a mixing paddle with it. Uh, Brian says, what if you pay for your YouTube? Uh, if you pay for the YouTube, the red, whatever they call it, red or YouTube TV, um, I think we get a very minute piece of the money, but we still get something. But I think YouTube rips us off on that one. Um, but I did see on some of our videos, people, we need to complain about this, okay? I'm saying we, I mean everybody. If you see a YouTube ad for shorts or reels, I just saw a YouTube ad on one of my videos for a reel. So YouTube is using my platform to advertise them making more money, but we don't get paid for it. I don't think we get paid for them putting ads on our videos, which I think is wrong. Premium, okay, YouTube premium. Uh, 
Um, what else do I have? I had something else. Um, all the cookies went out. The cookies and gooey butter cakes went out yesterday and the day before. Um, there will be an automatic uh, message going out on Facebook and on YouTube uh, that we're going to start back taking orders for the cookies and gooey butter cakes, I think around January 16th-ish, um, and they will be shipped out January 23rd uh, and 24th-ish. So uh, we're um, we're not doing any orders from well we're not doing like big orders from now till then because I try to leave that open for not mailing a lot of stuff off because uh, doing goods you know doing goods you don't want to mold it by the time they get there and this time of the year you never know when they're going to get there they got new people working like holiday hours that don't know addresses or want to throw all the throw all the shipments in the ditch and just go home. Um, yes, where I used to live, they do that. 60 packages got found in one place. How do you scan 60 packages and say, like real quick, the computer knows when you're scanning them. So you just scan the half a town in in 10 seconds and just throw them out. Um, that should be a felony. But... But yeah, I don't like to get into that when the post office or the USPS, USPS, UPS, or FedEx or anything, they're real super busy. So I try to stay out of that. Donna says, do you have a recipe for your cake? I do. I go strictly by the recipe. Um, it's all measured out. Um, I don't have to look at the recipe anymore, uh, so but I do have a recipe. I have a recipe for my pickles, um, my chow chow, I call country kimchi, um, my pickled asparagus, all my items I have locked down. So every time you get it, if you get it today, it's going to taste just like you get it a year from now. It's exactly the same. I don't substitute. Uh, I use the same ingredients all the time. Uh, so gooey butter cakes, uh, all my pickle items, anything that I do uh, that I have a recipe for. But I think you're asking if you want to have my recipe. Um, the smart thing, I'm not the brightest person in the world, but if you're selling something, you don't want to give the recipe out. Uh, that's a no-no. Uh, so... I need to keep that recipe. Uh, they have many recipes online, though, so you can get any kind of recipe you want. And uh, uh, it's it's not that difficult to do, but it is in a sense. You really don't have uh, – it's, it's difficult to even talk about. Uh, just like me eating, doing big meals that just looks easy, kind of like doing the cake. Once you get used to it, though, it's easy, but – but just uh, search gooey butter cakes online. Don't search ooey, gooey, wooey butter cakes. If they add words to gooey, that means it ain't no good. They're trying to make it better than it is. Go to a store. Don't get no ooey, gooey butter cake. Why do you got to call it ooey, gooey? I got to say it's. I got to look stupid and say it's stupid because it's stupid. Ooey, gooey. Wooey, gooey, looey, booey cake. No, it's gooey butter cake, folks. If they're adding words to it, it's crap. Got me worked up. Got me, Donna got me worked up. <laughs> All right, Matt, you have a great day. Let's make other plans. Um, I do. Uh, thank you. Um, I don't know what experiment that I'm going to try next, but I, I don't search on the internet. Um, it's just something I saw that somewhere a long time ago, so I just thought about doing it. But I don't search the internet of what I should try because somebody else is doing it. I just, it's up here usually, like, I've always wanted to try this, but like through deep dish Totinos, I just say, Hey, they don't have one. I think we should make one. So, and I'm not taking anybody's like, Hey, you should do this. Cause I get a lot of recipes. Um, I don't like to try to make what everybody else makes. Uh, this is not a cookie cutter, no pun intended cookie cutter channel. So I just try to do my own thing and, and whatever's up here and just try it out. But with that said, guys, I'm going to jump off here. I do really do appreciate you tuning in and even staying this long for a live. Um, if you got any other questions, though, I will answer some more questions before I get out of here. Um, Josephine says, isn't the ads in your videos how you get paid for YouTube? Uh, that's 
the only I think that's the only way we get uh, paid is the ads on a video. Like my other channel, I'm not getting paid at all because there's I don't get any um, I don't I'm not monetized. I'm not sure if they put ads on there, but uh, they don't. They definitely um, that's how we get paid. The only other way we get paid on here, if you find folks want to send money through Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, uh, Zelle. Um, and that's all in the, in the descriptions of my videos. And some people did, did just did, and I do want to appreciate it. I, I thank you guys for, for helping out. Um, I'm trying to do something for the other channel for I can do better hiking video, like go in different places. Um, I do have hiking videos that it's just 45 minutes that way, 45 minutes that way. But when I start doing something like Colorado Pikes Peak hiking or something like that, um, I want to uh, do better stuff, and, and, and hopefully in the future, um, I think in the future in that channel, I'm going to start doing some like, I would say crazy, crazy, crazy off the wall, but I want to do just different than other people that's doing stealth camping. I got my own twist on stuff that I got got up here. I can't say it. But I got stuff up there that I do um, want to bring a better quality video i guess not really quality the time i guess quality just funnier and, and, and just have have more content <laughs> brian says i thought it was every thousand um they do the milli whatever they call it, one every thousand but you have to watch so long um i think if it's uh I'm not going to get off into the mathematics of it all, but uh, you are correct. Um, you did catch me in a lie because I forgot about that. We get paid for every thousand views. Uh, there's a, a portion of that money. It's not much, but what, two or three dollars or something. But it's uh, that plus the ads. Um, but I can tell you now, if I'm putting about 25 videos out a month, it's it's right now it's not a lot. But there's people that have millions of subscribers that probably get paid forty thousand dollars on a video, maybe not forty, but pretty dang man. I wouldn't say close, but maybe four thousand dollars on one video. Um, I don't get four thousand dollars per video, but that's why I'm putting out a whole bunch of videos. But uh, it's a, it's a big mathematical thing that actually we really don't know how we're exactly getting paid, which I think they like that because. Uh, it's an auction on ads, like advertisers auction. Hey, these people, like say my channel gets, like my, my the other channel, people are watching like 20, 30 minutes per person on a video, which an average video, like somebody makes that's maybe 10 minutes long, they watch like a minute, maybe two minutes tops of that 10 minute video. But if I put an hour video, hour and a half video out, some people watch 20 minutes to 30 minutes, they like, whoa, that's a retention there. People's watching more of that person. The, they would rather put their ads on the person watching more minutes and not having more subscribers. So it's it, it, it works out differently when people auction stuff off. Polo says about the Beck and Soda trick. Well, there is different ways, uh, and I'm not a fan. I'm just going to break. I'm not going to break it down, really. But I'm not a fan of people aerating stuff uh, that makes a lot of holes in it just to make it fluffier. Uh, and uh, but uh, there's different methods, but but one to seven. I'm just going to say one to seven ratio is all you need to know. Stop stepping on it. <laughs> Mal Malia says, Brandon, have you made enchilada bake before? I've never did that. Um, I might make my own, since you said that, I might make my own type of lasagna, okay, of some off-the-wall ingredients. And I haven't even picked the ingredients yet, but I might make a lasagna. A lasagna, is, this is just called, is, is the meaning of lasagna, is it just layers, just food layers? Or is it typically lasagna is definitely a definition, has to be pasta, has to be meat, sauce. I don't know. But does the word lasagna just mean layers? I can Google that for you. 
But if it's on the internet, it must be true, right? Lasagna means a baked Italian dish consists of a wide strips of pasta. Dang it! It already, well, ish, okay? It's called lasagna-ish dish. Okay, Stu Stu must have just came in the, the, the room. I had I went over that. Um, I sell my gooey butter cake, so if you sell anything, you would not want to give the recipe out. That will be a no-no. So to answer that, no, I do not uh, I do not have a recipe on my channel of how to do that. So my pickles and how do I exactly do all that stuff? Um, I don't um, I, I tell people how long I cook the pickles. But I don't do the, the, the exact process of how I can't even get into that part of it, but how I, I the process, how I even do the pickles. But like I said, uh, the, the, the recipe I have, if you Google gooey butter cake, every recipe is almost going to be like the ones uh, that I have. I'm just telling you that now. It's not uh, just don't go with the Martha Stewart uh pecan, berry, gooey, booey, butter cake. Don't go with nothing crazy with some Paula Deen, um, avocado, gooey, butter, whatever. You don't got to go crazy with it. It's only like six or seven ingredients. But they start throwing freaking pecans and walnuts and blueberries and raspberries in it, you might want to go to another recipe. Because that's what Paula Dean and, and all of them do with their salads. They throw walnuts and balsamic vinegar mixed with blue raspberry watermelon juice. Like, it doesn't take all that, folks, for deliciousness. Mary says, I'm Italian, one of my favorite dishes to make also stromboli. Stromboli. See, I talk Italian. Stromboli. You got to do that. I don't know why. Because <laughs> Italians talk with the hand. People think I'm like like the mafia. That was, when you hear, see me talking, that's what I usually do. I'm, I'm, I talk with my hands. California howdy. That's what I told Lonnie. That's what, when I was in the AA, that's what people, somebody gave me the California howdy. It was not that finger. It was the other one next to it. Not that one. The one in the middle of that one and that one. That's the California howdy, folks. Hey, oh, 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 I was waving here, folks, but I was doing that. Okay, just picture a freaking middle finger up. Jesus, can't do nothing on the internet without being blasted. Okay, well, guys, I'm going to jump off here. I got to go. I do appreciate you very much. Um, the next live, I know, will be Friday because it'll be my Friday night live. Duh. But, um, the next video you'll see is tomorrow with Eli Lessig and myself doing a jailhouse pizza, trying to beat Randy Randolph Santel's record with Derek Jacobs. So Derek Jacobs, uh, he was with MLE. I'm not sure if he still is. And uh, Randy Randolph Santel, they have the record there. So we were shooting for that. Um, it's supposed to have been a 12 pound pizza, which it didn't come out. 12 pounds. They don't even own a scale. How do you go a place and they say the pizza is a certain amount of pounds and you don't own a effing scale? Gladly, I had one in my trunk. Just keep a scale in my trunk. And uh, yes, I was in Utah when I was by Des Moines. I know Iowa. I was uh, by Des Moines, Iowa, and a cop pulled me over and I had to tell him I used to sell drugs. Yes. And I. I got a trunk. I got a, I said, I got a scale in the trunk and guys wanting to search the car. I said, you, it's in the car. I said, I weigh food up. I, I eat food. And, uh, but yeah, that was, uh, that was experiment. I think I do have some of that on video, uh, well on audio. Cause he, he, he wanted me to get off the car, which I, I'm not going to get off into the laws, but I did anyway, even though they didn't have to, but it was, a uh, it was a mess. But uh, I don't even know what the heck I just went on that tangent about. But uh, that video is coming out tomorrow. So please check that video out. And then on Saturday, um, after the live on Friday, so Thursday, tomorrow will be a food challenge. Then you got Friday live. And then you got a food challenge 
on um, Saturday. So a Bird King drive throughs uh, food challenge. Um, I will do the advent calendar. My sister got me. Please remind me on Friday to do it. So I still have, I think, the 12th, 13th, 14th, then the 15th. So I would have and the 16th. I don't know. I got three or four days to do the advent calendar. So please remind me on Friday to do the advent calendar so I can see what's goodies are in the dates. So talk to you later. I thank all you moderators, um, all you disposal team members. Uh, please, please, please again. And I'm going to shut up after this. But please, please subscribe to the other channel. It's going to be a lot of fun over there as well. If you like outdoor stuff, if you like Luna, if you like the chickens, um, if you just like uh, to laugh. So please check that channel out, subscribe if you will. And uh, with that said, adios.